right, time now for my three picks. This is when I pick three college football games against the spread. Me and this guy right here, the almighty coin. Let's go ahead and review last week's picks in which I had a bounce back week. As Meatloaf once saying, two out of three ain't bad. And we won two out of three. Big difference between me and the coin last week. I went with Texas. Coin went with San Jose State. Texas was favored by about four touchdowns. No problem for me. Texas won by eight TDs. And the coin, of course, liked San Jose State to cover. Didn't happen for the coin. So there's a win there for me. We also both won on Clemson. The Tigers, small favor in the game against Auburn, but Clemson won by eight. So that's a win. But we both lost on Stanford and USC. Stanford was a six-point underdog. I liked Stanford with the points. USC won by double digits. So after three weeks, coin and I are tied. Three wins, three losses. So let's get to week number three. SEC battle coming up on Saturday between unbeatens. But they may not be the unbeatens that are household names. Kentucky and South Carolina. Uh, both 2-0. Big difference is, though, South Carolina's been a little bit more tested. I mean, the, the Gamecocks beat an NC State team that I think is good, plus the Gamecocks won at Missouri, SEC opener. Kentucky, their two wins against non-Power 5 schools, Southern Miss and Eastern Kentucky. With that being said, and with the game being played in South Carolina, I like the Gamecocks. So give me South Carolina, minus a six and a half, and the coin that lands on heads that likes the favorite tails underdog. Coin is going to go with South Carolina as well. Arizona State, Texas Tech, two worst defenses last year in college football, and there was a practical track meet last year in Tempe with Arizona State coming out on top. In fact, Arizona State had a player that scored eight touchdowns. He's back, by the way. But this time, Texas Tech playing at home. Arizona State, to me, they look worse than last year, which is not saying much. And Tech, even though I still don't think they're a contender in the Big 12, they look a little bit better than what we've seen previously after that win over um, Eastern Washington to begin the season. Plus, Red Raiders have had two weeks to prepare. But the number I'm more focused on in this game is the total, which right now is at 76 points. I think both teams will put up a lot of points. I'll probably pick Tech to win, but that's not the focus. The focus is who do I like as far as the total, over, under, I'm going to say that the teams combined for more than 76 points. So give me the over on the total, which is 76. If it lands on heads, it likes the over tails. It likes less than 76 points, and it likes less than 76 because it landed on tails. Finally, Kansas and Ohio. You know the last time Kansas won a road game in college football? Well, it was 2009 at UTEP. Those are not good odds, especially with the Jayhawks. You know, coming off a disappointing performance. They did not look good against the Central Michigan team that I don't think is good at all. And Ohio, well, they're not exactly lighting the world on fire. They're 1-1. One and one, But their loss last week at Purdue against a Big Ten team, that's at least a little bit more respectable. Plus, Ohio is at home. So, give me the Bobcats. Minus 7.5. I don't think the Jayhawks are making that progression that we thought they would. And the coin is going to disagree with me and take Kansas. So, those are my picks. What are yours? Well, I'm off to my real job right now. Uh, we will have the post game of Oklahoma versus Tulane. It'll be on Sunday. Keep in mind, it'll be on Sunday sometime. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on My Three Picks.